Hey, how you guys doing today? We're going to be looking at two uh, Intel Nooks that we're going to be doing a build out on. They're bare bones, so there's nothing in there, memory or hard drive. So we have our M.2 uh, drives and we have our memories. So we're going to go ahead and take these apart and we're going to show you how to uh, get these upgraded. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and move this out of the way. We're going to lay these down. And you want to remember the fronts, I was just like pushing them towards me so I know where they're at. But you're going to go ahead and unscrew all of these four screws here. You're going to open them up. And uh, you only need this if you're going to be doing a solid state drive or a regular spinning drive. You can slide that in there. But we got the M.2 uh, drive. So we're going to be loading these up right in here. And then our memory stick there. And same thing for this one. Four screws. And just pop this baby off. And let's go ahead and get our memory. And we can go ahead and load our memory in. So here's our memory. We're just doing uh, two uh, DDR3 um, L, which is the laptop standard uh, memory sticks. So you're just going to slide that in there directly in and then push down until you hear the clicks. So the same thing. Make sure you match up the notch, push it in all the way, and then push down until you hear the click. And then same thing over here. Slide in, push down. Match up the notch, good. So now we got our memory installed. Uh, we're gonna wanna take out these two screws so then we can slide our M2 uh, SATA drive in there and then we can go ahead and close her up and that's really all there is to it. So just gonna take out the screws. We're gonna take our SATA. So we got a 250 gig Samsung that we're gonna slide in there. So you just wanna carefully match up the notch there. Push it in just like the memory. Carefully just push it down. And we got our screw. You always wanna put pressure down on the drive and hold it in place until you get the screw snugged. Here's our second one. Same thing, push down, grab the screw, hold it down. Oh, the magnetic screw gets screwed up. Now we can close these up. And I like using a little bit powered screw. And always make sure when it says the front that it's always the front USB ports where the power button is up at. So always make sure you have it in the right place. So that one's all done. Now we can go ahead and boot that up and we can install Windows 10 on that. This one didn't close all the way, so we just have to see why. I think some of these wires just didn't get pushed in. There we go. So the same thing, just tying these four screws up. All right, let's go ahead and Get these hooked up to a monitor and we can go ahead and start installing Windows 10. All right, so now that we have our memory and our M SATA drive installed, we're gonna go ahead and install Windows 10. So you're gonna wanna have a thumb drive with the Windows 10 installer. If you don't know how to do that, click our video in the left hand uh, top corner and we'll show you how to do that. It's very easy, just go to the Microsoft website, download the Windows 10 installer and it's very easy. So just watch that video if you don't know how to. So we're gonna plug in our keyboard. We're gonna plug in our ethernet uh, cable so you can install all those Windows 10 and, uh, updates when we get Windows 10 installed. You're gonna install your power cord. And then for video, we're gonna do our mini HDMI there. And then our Windows 10 installer. 
and we're gonna hit the power button and boot this up and you're gonna wanna hit the F10 key on the keyboard. Now log in, you're gonna see this boot menu and you're gonna go down to the UEFI SanDisk, which is our thumb drive that we have when it's 10 are installed. So go ahead and click on that. So once you see this installer, go ahead and hit next. Install now. Go ahead and hit, I don't have a product key, we'll enter that in later. We're gonna install Windows 10 Home, uh, Windows 10 Pro. Now since this is in, we're gonna hit uh, accept terms of service. Now since this um, thumb drive, I'm, I'm sorry, not thumb drive, uh, SATA drive has been used before, you're gonna see all these other partitions. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and delete these partitions as long as you know that you back that data up. So we're gonna delete these. If I hit the wrong button here, hold on. And delete. So hit next. Once you clear all those partitions out of there. And now it's going to install Windows 10. Once it's done, it's going to reboot. And you're going to be all set to go.